Welcome to Prosperity Trade. Thank you for joining us. I'm Juan, founder and lead trader of Prosperity Trade. In Prosperity Trade, we like to discuss everything from stocks, day trading, option trading, swing trading, uh, due diligence on disruptive technology. But for today's lecture and series, we're going to be discussing Stocks 101 or Introduction to Stocks. Or is that the name? What's the name? Beginner, uh, stocks for Beginners. Stocks for the Beginners. Uh, stocks for Beginners. Uh, he came up with the name. So this is the first series of Stocks for Beginners. Uh, our first guest, special guest, is Ismael Valdez. He's our first special guest, and he's also my son. Is that right? I believe so. I believe so. Uh, and how old are you? 12 years old. 12 years old. What grade are you in? Sixth grade. Six. Sixth grade? Six, yeah. Are you going to seventh? Yeah. In seventh, okay. So our goal is to help Ismael understand what a stock is, and also anybody watching the video learn what a stock is. Um, we're going to have multiple uh, videos. We'll talk about what a stock is, how to purchase a stock, uh, platforms to use, and we're going to keep it real simple. So, Ismail, do you know what a stock is? Uh, and I don't know what a stock is. You don't know what a stock is. Okay, so we're going to watch a quick video discussing what a stock is. Uh, it's a short video, and at the end, we'll discuss what a stock is. Do you own stock, by the way? Uh, yeah, I actually do. You own stock. Okay, what stock do you own? Uh, I own EXAS and... Sensionics. Sensionics, which is ticker SENS. If they want to learn about those two stocks, where can they go? To the YouTube, our YouTube page. Our YouTube Prosperity page, Trade. Prosperity Trade. Yes, we did our due diligence on that stock. Okay, so let's watch the video. Welcome to A Simple Guide to Stocks, presented by Prosperity Trade. Me, Ismail. Ismail is looking to start a business. He finds a store does some research and locates where to buy the store. Unfortunately, the store cost $100,000. Ismail only has $25,000. What will he do? He decides to find investors. He finds three investors, presents his idea, and they think about it. They then decide to invest in his business. Now Ismail only needs 75,000, so each investor will pay $25,000. Each person pay 25,000, and they'll receive 25% in stocks. That's 25% of the business. Now they have their stocks. Three years later, Ismail is extremely successful. And his business is now worth four million dollars. That means each investor's 25% of stock is worth one million dollars each. That's great news for the investors and for Ismail. Thank you for joining us. That was a quick lesson on what a stock is. For more information, please see www.prosperitytrade.com or find us on YouTube. Thank you very much. So what did you think about the video? Uh, I'd say it gave a pretty good description of like what a stock is. Good, good. Hey guys, this is take three by the way. We had some microphone issues. We recorded the whole second half and the mic was off. <laughs> yeah. I blame it on him. <laughs> okay, so in the video, you started a company, right? How much did the company cost? A hundred thousand dollars. How much money did you have? Twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand. So how much money did you need to raise? Seventy five thousand. Seventy five thousand. And you found three investors. They each gave twenty five thousand. Now, let's just say your company okay, was divided in by, let's just say, a hundred shares. Right. Yeah. Each of those shares have to have a value and the value has to equal a hundred thousand because that's how much the business costs. Right. Yeah. So how much would each share cost? A thousand dollars. Right, because a thousand times a hundred is a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand, uh, and um, each investor gave how much? Paid how much? Uh, Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. And you can look at me when you don't have to keep looking at the camera. <laughs> okay, so how many shares do each investor get? Each investor, how many? Uh, each investor, how many shares do they get? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Shares. Okay, so twenty-five shares. So now each of those shares are worth a thousand dollars. So that's their twenty-five thousand in shares. Three years later, your business was extremely successful, right? Yeah. Okay. 
and it's worth how much your business? Four million dollars. Four million dollars. So now those twenty-five shares equal a million dollars. So if you divide twenty-five into a million, that's what each share is now worth cost. Yeah. Okay. That's how it is in the stock market, basically, except for a couple things. Except you have a company, right? A big company, let's say like Microsoft. Yeah. First of all, let's say Microsoft. Let's say this is a hundred percent, right? Let's say ten percent, ten percent, ten percent to a hundred percent. This is their whole company, Microsoft, right? Yeah. When they sell a portion of their shares, they only take a small percentage of their company, like let's say 10%, and they put it, you know, make it public to buy shares. The other percentage, you won't be able to buy, right? So they only take a small part. Your example was 75% of the company, but this is like in, in real companies, they'll take a small percentage of their company and they sell it publicly to raise money. And then this 10% of that company, it's millions and millions of shares. Yeah. Okay. So like in your example, you had 25% of the company, but in real life, in the Microsoft, if you buy one share, you're going to have like 0.0000000000 percentage of the company. It's just a small fraction of the company. Yeah. That's how the stock market works. So um, in your example, you, you said you own stock, right? Yeah. What was the stock ticker? Uh, EXAS. EXAS. So when we bought EXAS for you, right? Our goal is that when you go to college, and you're going to go to college, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to study, by the way? Uh, what was the brain one? The brain one is neurosurgeon. Yeah, neurosurgeon. Oh, you got to learn the name of it first. <laughs> okay. So, so hopefully, you know, by that time, let's say EXAS, we bought it at $120 a share. Yeah. Okay. Let's say we bought you 10 shares, right? Right now, it's trading at 128 So that means you made profit of $8 on each share, which is what? Eight, $8. You made $80. We're hoping maybe by the time you get to college, it's trading at 400, 500, right? So that's why you, you know, you buy multiple companies that you believe in and you hope that in 10 years, five years, <clears throat> the, the value of that company has doubled or tripled. Okay. So, um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell for stocks. You buy a stock that you believe in, right? You do your due diligence, meaning you take a deep dive into the company, into the management, what their business is, their financials, are they in debt, are they making, are they profitable, do they have potential to be around in the next 5, 10, 15 years, right? There's some stocks that you know are going to be around for a long time, like Microsoft, right? What are, what's another company that you think is going to be around for a long time? Uh, Amazon. Amazon. Amazon is all day, you know, people are ordering stuff. Mm -hmm. Each of those shares are like 3000 something dollars, just for one share of Amazon. Um, so those are big companies, Amazon, Walmart, that are going to be around for a long time. So when you choose a company, you want a company that's like that, either one that's well-established and you want to hold for a long time or a company that's up and coming, right? Because you can also lose money, right? So what happens if the value of the company goes down and the share price goes down, then you what? You lose your money. You lose money, right? You can lose a lot of money. Uh, when COVID hit, all the stock prices dropped, right? Because businesses were closing down uh, for COVID. So that's pretty much it. So now that we've discussed that, we've watched the video, how do you understand what a stock is? What is a stock? Basically, um, you could buy a, a small percentage of a company and if the stock price goes up, you can make money, but you could also lose money if it goes down and the business is doing good. Right, so you have to do your what? Uh, due diligence. Due diligence, right? That's a key word. And if the stock price keeps going up, and you feel confident that that price is going to go up, we say that, hey, you know, we're bullish on this stock, right? And a good way to remember it is like the bull. Which way do the horns point? Up. Up. So if someone, if you hear somebody say, hey, I'm bullish on this stock, that means they feel like it's going to continue to go up. Um, and actually, that's what the oncologist said. He's a doctor. When we talked about EXAS, uh, which is a company that monitors and screens for cancer, the oncologist himself said, I'm bullish in this stock. I feel like the price is going to go up. I feel like it's a good company. Uh, and that's it. Do you have any questions? Uh, is there a certain age limit or age you have to be to trade stocks? Yes. Stocks? So that's a great question. Actually, you have to be 18 years old. You yourself, even if you're 14, 15, 16, 17, you can't call a broker and open up an account under your name. Your mommy, uh, she opened up an account for you. And we pick some stocks together and that's why you have stocks under your name.
But when you become 18, you can open up an account and, and buy your stocks. Mm -hmm. Good. You're going to do that when you're 18? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah. So, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching to the end. Uh, for more videos, please go on our YouTube page. We have multiple videos. We have due diligence on Sensionics, EXAS. We also talk about day trading. Uh, we'll have multiple series with these stocks for beginners or actually what's the name again? Uh, yeah, stocks for beginners. Stocks for beginners. I was saying intro stocks, stocks for beginners. We were trying to choose a name. He's, he likes stocks for beginners. So that's what we're going to stick with. And thanks again to our special guests for coming. Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. Where are you going afterwards? Living room. Living room. Okay. What's going on out there? TV. TV. Okay. Good, good. Okay. So any questions, uh, please post them in the comments. Please hit like, subscribe. And if you want any due diligence on a particular stock, please just put it in the comment and we'll be more than happy to respond. Thank you for joining us.